Review, the 2022 Toyota Tundra Capstone Place Follow the Leader. It took 15 years for the third-generation Toyota Tundra to arrive and throughout my time with it, one question kept recurring, is this the best they could do? With a new luxury capstone trim, a powerful hybrid powertrain, an in-your-face design, and innovative features, the 2022 Toyota Tundra isn't a bad truck. It just feels like a massive missed opportunity. Toyota could have come out swinging with a segment-busting product like the ABAD hybrid pickup concept from 2007, but it played follow the Ford F-150 leader instead. Nobody wins by following. I spent a week picking up supplies at the local fleet supply store, towing boats, and hauling kids on a road trip to figure out where the 2022 Toyota Tundra fits in the truckosphere. The answer is murky, especially in the $75,000 capstone trim. Going Hybrid A hybrid Tundra was long overdue for the company that made its modern-day reputation on the back of a fuel-sipping Prius. But instead of punching a hole in the market and delivering a truck with incredible fuel efficiency, Toyota aimed for power in an attempt to best the competition. Numbers on paper aren't the same as reality. The top-shelf capstone trim atop the Tundra lineup pairs a twin-turbo 3.5-liter V6 and hybrid system to produce 427 horsepower and 583 lb-ft of torque. On paper this powertrain is the most powerful option in a light-duty pickup truck this side of a Ford F-150 Raptor R or Ram 1500 TRX, but it doesn't feel as powerful. The hybrid system operates seamlessly and in the background, unlike the hybrid system in the F-150 with its clunky 1-2 and 2-3 shifts and hybrid power handoffs. Even when unloaded mashing the go pedal doesn't provide the same forward grunt found in the F-150 hybrid with its 400 horsepower and 510 lb-ft of torque, or even the outgoing high-out twin-turbo V6 previously available in the F-150 Limited with 450 horsepower and 510 lb-ft of torque. Four-wheel drive is standard on the $75,925 capstone model, but despite the luxury model's large price its four-wheel drive system is an ancient part-time system. No full-time system is available on any Tundra, though capstone models feature an automatic limited-slip rear differential. The big power numbers on paper went for gold at the sacrifice of fuel economy. The hybrid Tundra horse trades fuel economy ratings with the non-hybrid variant. Hybrid models carry EPA ratings of 19 miles per gallon city, 22 highway, 20 combined while non-hybrids are rated at 17-23-19 mpg. In reality I saw a sad 15.1 miles per gallon in, a rather short, 40 miles of mixed suburban driving according to the trip computer. Falling short of EPA ratings, again, the Tundra averaged 19.4 miles per gallon over the course of 203 highway miles. With the boat, towing is an extremely inefficient activity, the truck averaged 9.4 miles per gallon over 158 miles. None of these real-world numbers are markedly better than a V8-powered truck from the competition, though they are better than the outgoing 5.7-liter V8 in the second-generation Tundra, which at times would average just 14 mpg on the highway unloaded. As disappointing as the hybrid powertrain is, the 10-speed automatic transmission delights. Regardless of whether it's stop-and-go traffic, highway cruising, or towing 5,000 pounds, the Toyota-built unit snaps off quick, clean shifts. This might be the best transmission available today in a light-duty pickup truck. The programming never allows the transmission to get lost in all the gears. Hooking up the boat. The act of physically hooking a boat up to the Tundra is reasonably simple thanks to the gigantic screen and multiple camera angles. Once the boat and trailer combo is attached to the rear of the Tundra, there's the ability to input a few key details such as number of axles on the trailer, type of hookup used, i.e. hitch, and brake type, i.e. electric brakes or surge. This information can be saved in a profile, and then the truck can do its own analysis about the trailer's length within the first few feet of driving. It then integrates the trailer with the truck's blind spot monitors to take into account the extra length. It worked flawlessly and was much simpler than Ford's input system for trailer information. With a 5,000 pounds fiberglass walleye boat and dual axle trailer hooked to it, however, the motivation at speed was downright disappointing despite the load checking in well under the capstone's 10,340 pounds max towing capacity. 
Two front seat occupants and a 19 pounds road bike in the bed also didn't even touch the 1,485 pounds max payload capacity. Passing isn't an issue, but where the high output twin turbo V6 in the last F 150 would lunge forward as if the same boat and trailer didn't exist, no Tundra driver will ever forget there's a trailer hooked to this thing. This doesn't feel like 583 lbft of torque. And while the capstone's rear air shocks will self level the suspension so it doesn't sag, the trailer lash is present at all times, unlike with an F 150. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.